हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक चीप डी आई वाई सी ओ टू सिस्टम बूस्टर प्लान ग्रोथ इन माई प्लान्टेड एक्वेरियम लैक क्रेजी इफ यू हैव बीन वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज आई हैव मेड ए वीडियो अबाउट मेकिंग एंड यूजिंग ए चीप डी आई वाई सी ओ टू डिफ्यूजर सिस्टम फॉर योर प्लान्टेड एक्वेरियम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी दैट वीडियो चेक द कार्ड सेक्शन विद द आई बटन ओवर द टॉप कॉर्नर आफ्टर यूजिंग द डी आई वाई सी ओ टू डिफ्यूजर सिस्टम फॉर मोर दैन ए ईयर और मोर I found some drawbacks with this cheap DIY CO2 system and I also made a, another video about five problems of DIY CO2 diffuser that you need to know you can also find that video in the card section over there now many people also commented about the problem that they are facing with the cheap DIY CO2 system some are purchasing the old CO2 system that don't come with the magnetic holder it is very old system by the way and you should use the new system that comes with the magnetic holder now in this video i will tell you how to use the diy co2 diffuser system in an easy and useful way so let's just get started with it now i will briefly explain how to refill the bottles with required chemicals just remember that bottle b gets baking soda solution that is b for baking soda and then everything else fall into place that is bottle a get citric acid solution i also made a video about refilling the bottles you can check them as well in the card section for 2 liter bottles a get 600 ml of water and b gets 200 ml while the chemicals added are of same amount that is 200 g of baking soda and citric acid powder in bottle b and a respectively so the bottles have been filled with chemicals and i have also attached them to their respective caps now here is how to use it be first using the bottle a you can keep the ball end of the outlet just little bit lower than the top surface of the solution you only need to add carbon dioxide to the planted aquarium when you are turning on the lights and the light should be on for 12 hours just like normal plants you see outside so when the lights are on the plants do photosynthesis and use the co2 you supply then the plants make food release oxygen and start to grow as well on the first estimate planted aquarium needs 30 to 40 ppm of carbon dioxide in the water for good plant growth and avoid any danger to the livestock so when the ball end in the bottle a is adjusted squeeze bottle a to let the solution go to the bottle b and undergo the reaction keep doing it until you see the needle of the pressure gauge in the green zone once the needle is in the green zone now it's time to adjust the bubbles per second which is dependent on the width of your aquarium the plant load and also the existing co2 level in the water you can also use co2 level checker that is available to purchase online and check the co2 level in your aquarium with it you can also refer the chart that came with the diy co2 diffuser set you purchased and adjust the bubbles per second according to the requirements don't use too much co2 it can kill your livestock due to co2 poisoning once you know what bubbles per second your planted aquarium needs just lock the flow in the knob above the bottle b just keep turning the smaller knob and when you get the required bubbles per second in the bubble counter turn the bigger nut tight to lock the setting in place so you don't need to turn it every time or every other day when you turn on the diy co2 diffuser system just pull up the ball ending of the pipe in bottle a with magnetic holder so that it don't send more solution to bottle b and make more co2 pulling up the magnetic ball also shuts down the diy co2 diffuser system don't use every day you only need 30 to 40 ppm of carbon dioxide in the planted aquarium water so you sit after every 2 days or more and your chemical mixture will also last for 1 month or more you can regularly check the co2 level in the planted aquarium using the co2 checker and you can turn on the diy diffuser system as per the requirement so on your next you say just pull the magnetic holder and place it just little bit lower to the surface level and then start squeezing the bottle edge to start the diy co2 diffuser system when you get the needle in green zone pull out the ball ending of the pipe in bottle a and use the co2 formed for 12 hours i hope my suggestions works for you and enable you to keep a healthy and attractive planted aquarium using the cheap diy 
CO2 diffuser system. So use the DIY CO2 diffuser system as per my suggestion until or unless you get a professional DIY CO2 system, which is of course is expensive. So good luck with your try. If you have any concerns or suggestion, please drop it down in the comment section below. Like and share the video to your friends or relatives if you found it useful. Subscribe the channel and turn on the notification to watch the upcoming videos as soon as they are released. I will be back in the next video. Till then bye and take care and thanks for watching.